Welcome back. Today we will be rolling our Katamari outside. But first, I have a whole lot to talk about. Welcome to Atlantium. I've been, uh, I've been leveling up, as you may be able to tell by our obscene numbers. Uh, I have found the best way to level up in early levels. Just by accident. Uh, right outside of Atlantium on the other side here. In fact, on all three sides here. There are these weird, uh, fountains. That one has blood. It murders you. This one over here... ...has magical bubbly stuff. It curses you. And then over here, we've got some delicious raw sewage. That... ...gives you these amazing stats! Amazing stats! They don't last for very long. If you rest, they go away. And after a single battle, they go away. But I've just been taking that shit right the hell over to this room, and then save scumming for good attacks. Something I can actually kill. And just literally destroying the shit out of it. Uh, also, lots of magic herbs have been being used. They have been saving my life quite a bit. Especially when shit like this starts going wrong. The fact that they're actually hurting us this bad is a good sign that this is probably going to be worth a lot of experience. Now, the, the more of these I can murder, the better. Because less people will be falling down. First three guys are already out, which sucks. But we still have one. Oh no. Oh no. Well, someone's gonna die, so this was a. Uh, this did not go as planned. Yeah, I don't let anybody die. It's expensive, and it makes them not get experience. 90 goblins isn't a problem! That was shit, though. That was a terrible experience. Not even worth my time. However... Yeah, that was... that was trash. Oh well, whatever. That's fine. It was just an example of what I've been doing. The beauty of doing this has been that I have gotten a lot of cool shit. Um, so let's go over what everybody has at the moment, just in case somebody cares. Koopo has a Flamberge, plus five. Does 21, uh, like, on the attack. A great bow, plus 3, 15. I, I, that got passed down to him. Uh, and a plate armor, plus 1. That's just normal stuff. You'll see over here on the right, he has an electric sword. That's plus 3. It does 13 damage. So it kind of sucks. But I'm hanging on to it, in case I want it later. Because it's, uh, it's like, electrically charged. It's a elemental weapon. That might be cool. Mr. Hyron has passed me down stuff. Not important. He does have that Mauler Mace, though, which gives plus 6 to your Might stat. It's just that it sucks. It's only 12 damage at the moment. So we're hanging on to it for later. He also has an Electric Sword. His is plus 2. It's not as good as the one Koopa's holding. Thunder! He has a Bardish plus 6, which does 19 damage. Uh, every and a Bronze Helm plus 7. Turns out, when you find items that are pl over plus 5, uh, the alignment matters. So, it had to be good aligned for that one to be used at all. Uh, I think they might be different for different items, but I'm not sure. It might just be good people. Which sucks, but that's an amazing helmet. Magalore has a fireball bow. I don't know if I got this before I started doing this, but he has one. It's plus two, does 12 damage, not that great. Uh, I just gave him this Wakazashi from Tundra's, uh, shop, which is plus six, so it does 14. So he's in the running for actually doing damage now, and he's got scale armor plus five, which is nine. No, no big deal. Um, I have mostly hand-me-down stuff, but I did find that Iron Ring Mail plus two, which is seven, and plus, t plus 15 sleep. Uh, resistance, that's the word I was looking for. My Thieves pick have been upgraded to plus five ones, so my Thievery is insane. And that Great Shield is just the one I've had forever. Nanashi has that Icicle I found a million years ago. Uh, great Bow plus eight now, it's up to twenty. 
uh, silver chain mail plus two, which is eight. I think that also gives plus 15 energy resistance. Who cares? Didn't mark that down. Uh, and an accuracy gauntlet plus two, which gives accuracy plus eight. And on use, another accuracy plus ten. Sylphie got a couple more hero medals. They're better ones now, I think. Where are you, Sylphie? Uh, Great Hammer plus two, sixteen. Bronze Splint Mail plus two for nine, plus fifteen PHP, whatever the fuck that. Oh, I think that's personality, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe it's hit points. I don't fucking know. I don't know. The hero medals are both plus two, giving her plus four to her personality, which is now at 31. And she's holding on to a Storm Wand plus three, which uh, gives electrical resistance on equip and use is lightning bolt. And a blowpipe plus seven for later. Because Frosty currently has some really crazy shit. Frosty has my favorite stuff right now. He's got... Where is he? Oh, he got mixed into Minashi there. He's got a staff plus five for 13 damage. Not bad. His normal padded armor, which sucks. That only gives him three AC. He said three AC this whole time. But then I got that Invisicloak down there. That Invisicloak plus, fly, plus 5 gives AC plus 11. Holy shit. It only works on neutral characters, though. Uh, I was going to give it to someone else, maybe. Um, but plus 11 AC, holy fuck. And it also uses the spell Invisibility on use. The Shaman Pipe plus 1, it's a shitty missile weapon. It's only 5 damage, but it gives Magic Resistance plus 11. And on use, spell level plus 1. Plus fucking one on the spell level. Holy shit. Unfortunately, I don't know what the use of that would be unless somebody has drained my levels, which is a thing that can happen. Because you can't gain... I, I checked, and you can't buy the spells for a higher spell level even if you use that to put your spell level up. And everybody can use that for clerics. And then he's got... Uh, the magic charm plus one, which is another plus ten to magic resistance. So he is a magic resisting motherfucker. I just got his level 5 spells, I went and bought the other ones, so we have all this but Fingers of Death, and we have all of these except for Lloyd's Beacon. Uh, and also, Nanashi just leveled up the same level, and got her level 2 spells, also missing Lloyd's Beacon. So, that's what's been going on for a while. What are we doing now? We're going to C1. Because as I said, today we are rolling our Katamari in the wilderness. There are two... Wait a minute. I forgot something. Something important. I don't know how to get to Tundra. I forget where it was, so we're just going to take the portals. We have to go to Tundra. Wait, is it Tundra we need to go to? No, never mind, it's not. You need to go back to Atlantia. I was there for multiple reasons. Today, we're eating some food. We need the Devil's Brownie. Disgusting. Now we're going to roll our Katamari outside. C1 is still where we're going. So! Where the fuck are we? Oh, wait. Uh, one more thing. We've got to cast Wizard Eye. Or Eagle Eye. So we can see where the fuck we are. Alright. I haven't really been anywhere out in C1 yet. We need to go to 1-8. There's the one. That didn't do what I expected it to. 
You're supposed to be able to get to eat the devil's food brownie and then come here, and then there's a battle. Maybe it's only at night? Maybe it being spoiled was... was legit? Maybe you're supposed to eat it and it not be spoiled? Also, it fucking... God damn it. Oh, I, I just saved you. It diseased Koopa. Try this again just in case. That's annoying. I didn't know food could just randomly be spoiled. Okay, fine. Let's go back. we go! That's what I was expecting. So! I should have drank from the, uh, from the, the thing, shouldn't I have? Oh, god damn, they actually kill you. Alright. Can we turn undead? It actually worked! And there we go. Fingers of Death is ours. So now, Frosty has all of his level 5 spells. Excellent. But what of Lloyd's Beacon? Well, we didn't come to see one just for this. If you recall in our Juror's Quests, find Korak's soul in C1X10Y15. Let's go this way. Walk on water is not your spell. Ah, oh, god damn it. Where do I get that? Wow, okay. Change of plans. Let's go back over to Middlegate here. Take this little ferry. Wait, no, this way. Where the fuck is it? Cave was right outside of Middle Gate the whole time. So, uh, <laughs> I accidentally found where I actually wanted to be. Whoops! I thought I was going to need Walk on Water to get here, which is somewhere nearby. Uh, it doesn't actually say where it was, so I guess we'll just have to find that later. Uh, this is where I wanted to go. I didn't care about his soul. I just wanted to be in his cave. Because I believe... I got a hint.
Yes. I did get a general hint saying that Lloyd's Beacon is in this cave at 7-Eleven. It's not very far away. You know what we have now? I guess I can't go through, uh... Oh! Uh, it goes a set number, doesn't it? It's like... Five? Let's... Let's investigate this theory. Oh, magic can't be used here. That explains it. Well, let's try and find our way... Safely to 7-Eleven. It's a dangerous trip. But I think we can make it. That's worth anything. It's on that side of this wall. Do you mind? Okay, so. Ah! Ha ha ha! There we go. Lloyd has teached his, his beacon. That's all I really wanted to be here for, I think. And now I can kill off that hint that I don't need anymore. So with that, we now have all of the spells up to level 5. Nanashi should have gotten that as well. Excellent! Excellent! I don't even know what that does. Let's find out. I'm gonna cast it. Ah! It's a mark and recall. That is super useful. It would definitely speed things up and make me stop having to fly around to town. So, uh, now that I've done that, let's just explore, I guess. That's all- oh, wait, no, there's one more thing we can do in Tundra. Something that's really nice. Uh, we might be strong enough to do it now. Welcome back to Near Middle Gate. Um, I just tried to do a sneaky plan, didn't work out, so we're going to continue with our original plan of rolling our Katamari outdoors. Let's go anywhere we haven't been. Another one! Another one! Dear sweet Jesus. Fuck! Yes! Okay. I did not expect to find another one of those already, but now nobody has an AC under 10. That's incredible. And I can pull- I can just sh shove those all on one person to give them an AC of retarded. It's great. That is absolutely amazing. And this, my friends, is why we are rolling our Katamari outdoors. Let's try and clear up this entire square. We're gonna go through all of C2. How far up does it go? 
stop spinning. Okay. Have I been to this square? I have not. Where does, what, is, what is in this square? A bubbling fountain! I love bubbling fountains. What did you do to me? It's not healing me. Looks like it boosted our accuracy to 40. Sure, why not? All this trash I don't want. Gonna have to go back to Middlegate in a second just to empty my pockets. Looks like that one let, raised me to level 10. Yeah, I guess it raises, uh, or raises you up to level 10. Why not? One more! Woo! There it is! Yes! Yay! We now know Walk on Water. Except we have no spell points because of the magic monsters. Now, pesky rivers aren't a problem! We're not chosen ones because we haven't done anything special with our lives yet. But good to know that's there. We'll go back down there later. Let's walk over all of the water so that it's on the auto map. Fuck okay, it, let's just keep going. Is that it? Nope, we missed one. There we go! C2, our first completed map spot. There's only 25 of these. So, what we have learned today is that right north of Middlegate, we have Corax Cavern, and there's also a weird. Chosen Ones Only Cave, but we're not Chosen Ones. We haven't done anything yet for the Jurors. Our next step is to find Castle Woodhaven, because we are Green Triple Crown winners, and we've got the Green Key. And we've got the Castle Key, which is nice. I'm sure it's not too far from here, I just don't know in which direction. So we're going to go east and continue on our, on our little tour of the world. Lux's Palace is not where I want to go. Nonetheless, we have another screen of garbage here to fill in. And I shall do that. Holy shit! That's even better than- oh my god! Where am I? C3 up in the corner, there's magic might fruit. There's another one down here. 
which gives speed. Oh! 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 Now we're faster than every monster and insanely powerful. This is even better. Even better than the fountain. Those are the only two important things. You can just destroy something instantly in like a small battle. If anybody gets in a fight with me, they are going to get absolutely destroyed. a waste. An absolute waste. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh. So right up here. It's always Royal Horseman. Okay. Okay. I'll be right back, Mr. Royal Horseman. I wonder if there's fruit for every one of the stats. Hmm. Seems I can't still hit him. Oh, I am hitting them. They're just insane. Even with all this might, they're insane. Welcome to a castle. I wanted to know if that would use my castle key. It did not. So I guess I do just have access to all the castles forever. We have no reason to be here whatsoever. <laughs> None. Let's look around. There's probably a fool somewhere making jokes. with the holy man. Might as well just look around, see if we see anything easy to see. All of illusions. Illusionists. That was a lot of experience for basically nothing. I mean, it wasn't a lot of experience in general, but... are just illusionists. What in the fuck? Wow, let's not fuck with them. Nope, nope, no iron wizards, please. Oh, you're poisoned, son of a bitch. I didn't even realize you were still poisoned. I could have cast that a million years ago. That seems to be a glitch. It clearly says 17 out of 68, but it only says 17 out of 17 here. That's not great. The 
Well, now we know where the Bishop of, Bishop of Black Battle is for later when we do the black thing. Well, let's get the fuck out. It's time to leave. We need to fix Sophie. 